Homicide, 1903. The case of Francis Benjamin Mills. Francis Mills was convicted of the manslaughter of Eliza Harriet Castleman. He had been a cabman and had driven his cab into a crowd of people trying to get onto a tram, killing Eliza Castleman. A policeman who saw the crash said that at about 11.50pm on the 24th of February 1903, he saw a hansom cab coming up Brixton Road near the railway arch, and at the same time he saw a tram coming along in the same direction. The cab was behind the tram, which then stopped and Francis Mills called out, Hi, hi! He said that more than 14 people were trying to get into the tram car and that Francis Mills drove straight into them. Another man, a commercial traveller that lived in Leadenhall Street, said that on the 24th of February 1903 at about 11.50pm that he had been going down Brixton Hill from the direction of Streatham when he had seen the cab coming along and then dash into the people that were standing in the road waiting to get into the tram, saying that it went over somebody and then went on for about 20 or 30 yards. The tram conductor that had been in charge of tram number 8528 on the 24th of February 1903 said that he came to a standstill near Glanstock Road and that about 20 people made a rush and that he then heard a shunt and saw a cab run right through the people on the near side of the car. He said that the cabman had been about 10 yards from the tail of the tram when he heard the shout and said that he didn't see any other vehicles in the road at the time. When Francis Mills stopped his cab and the policeman went over to him and asked him to get down, he said that he did so in two or three minutes and said that he was under the impression that Francis Mills was under the influence of drink. He then charged Francis Mills with causing bodily harm and Eliza Castleman was taken to the hospital. When Eliza Castleman was taken to the hospital, she was found to have symptoms of concussion and compression on the brain and died later at 4am. In his own defence, Francis Mills said that when he saw the mob, he shouted and that there was then a scream that frightened his horse and that it pulled hard, and that he stopped as soon as he could. The carter that gave evidence in Francis Mills' defence said that he had been waiting for the car at the time, and had heard Francis Mills call out when he was about 20 yards behind the car for people to get out of the way. He said that as he stepped off the curb, that Eliza Castleman stepped out in front of the cab, and that the horse's shoulder touched her, and that she fell down and the rear wheel went over her. He said that Francis Mills then pulled up about 10 yards away, Francis Mills was found guilty of manslaughter and sentenced to three months' hard labour. Most of the references put the incident as having happened near the railway arches and the railway station on Brixton Hill Road, but it's not clear where Glanstock Road was.